Welcome to Medical Mythbusters. It's been um, a long time since we've had one. And I know the dates have been really messed up and changed around multiple times. So thank you for all, all, all of you for coming and for your patience. Um, I'm not gonna go through the format. I think everybody that's here has probably been to one of these before. So we're gonna skip over that. Um, we have no disclosures as usual. You guys, nobody's paying you off. Not today. Ocean spray. <laughs> okay. Starbucks. No. All right. All right. So our first uh, first talk. This is the lead in. I don't know if any of you guys are old. Well, you, some of you may be old enough to remember these commercials. But greetings. We're Ocean Spray Cranberry Growers. Now we all know our cranberry juice tastes good, but it also keeps you healthy. Our local doctor will explain. Cranberry juice cocktail is rich in powerful nutrients that help to cleanse and purify your body. These nutrients also serve as bacteria blockers that help to strengthen your immune system. Not bad for a veterinarian. <laughs> this is Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice Cocktail that tastes real good. It's also packed with powerful nutrients that cleanse and purify your body and help strengthen your immune system. As Greetings. We're oh, shoot. I'm sorry I did that. Ocean Spray Cranberry Growers. Now we all... Uh, sorry. Greetings. We're Ocean Spray Cranberry Growers. Now we all know our cranberry juice tastes good, but it also keeps you healthy. Our local doctor will explain... Cranberry juice cocktail is rich in powerful nutrients that help to cleanse and purify your body. These nutrients also serve as bacteria blockers that help to strengthen your immune system. Not bad for a veterinarian. This is Ocean Spray Cranberry yeah. Juice Cocktail that tastes real good. It's also packed with powerful nutrients that cleanse and purify your body and help strengthen your immune system. As a visual aid, I'll be your immune system on cranberry juice, protecting you from the bad stuff. Bring it on, bad stuff. That's all you got? Be still healthy. Ocean spray cranberry juice cocktail. Tastes good, good for you. Okay, so our first talk obviously is about cranberries and um, this has kind of gone full circle, I think, at least in my career. Um, back when I was training, I think cranberry juice was a really big thing for preventing urinary tract infections. Um, and then as far as I know, it was kind of busted. That myth was busted. And so Ariel said she wanted to do it on that. And I said, okay, I think it's kind of been busted. And, um, she started working on it and uh, I was kind of surprised at what she found. And I think she was surprised at what she found. I th um, so we'll, I'll let her uh, go through that and we'll talk about it afterwards. But um, so Dr. Ariel Kanner, uh, not a veterinarian, will be presenting. Okay, got it. Got it? Yes. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Ariel. I'm gonna be talking about the myth, cranberry is not effective in preventing UTIs have no disclosures. So a little bit on UTIs. In the United States, one in every five women has been reported to have a lifetime incidence of UTI with 20, nearly 20 to 30% of women with an infection experiencing recurrence, leading to around 11 million women receiving medications for UTIs annually, and about 13,000 deaths in the US per year from UTIs. Socio, de socio demographic inequalities exist in UTIs as well. And there's a study published um, just last year with two major California healthcare systems uh, determining whether three socio demographic factors, the use of Medicaid, the use of an interpreter, and census tract level deprivation were associated with overall UTI or multi drug resistant UTIs. And the results of that showed that all three socio demographic factors were associated with an increased risk of multi-drug resistant UTI. 
So UTIs affect many people around the world, men, women, and people of all different socio-demographic demographic and economic classes. So we should want to prevent and treat UTIs. So if you do a simple Google search on UTIs and prevention and treatment, you'll, it'll pop up a bunch of different cranberry things. Is it a myth? Can it really help? And that, so what is in a cranberry? Cranberries were medically used by Native Americans for the treatment of bladder and kidney ailments. And their therapeutic applications were documented during the, as early as the 17th century to include the relief of blood disorders, stomach ailments, liver problems, vomiting, appetite loss, even cancer. So what's in a cranberry? Proanthocyanidids, this beautiful molecule, as you can see, is what is in a cranberry. Um, they inhibit the adherence of P-fimbriated alpha-galactose 1,4-specific E. coli, so that prevents the bacteria E. coli from adhering to uroepithelial cell walls that line the bladder. This was demonstrated in a, a study that was published in the World Journal of Urology in 2006 that was an in vitro study that had the consumption of cranberry juice versus placebo in 20 healthy volunteers, 10 men and 10, men and 10 women. Um, and then the results of the study showed that there was a dose dependent significant decrease in bacterial adherence associated with cranberry consumption in this in vitro study. So we have evidence that cranberry does is protective against UTIs and helps to block the adherence of E. coli to bladder cell walls. So where is the origin of this myth? As Dr. Fried was saying, and as those commercials showed in the early nineties, I remember I was there, um, it was thought that cranberry was, you know, all of this data shows that cranberry should be helpful in protecting and preventing against UTIs. This myth came about in a Cochrane database systematic review that was published in 2012. This review was actually the third update of three previously published reviews from 1998, 2004, and 2008, all three of which showed some evidence that cranberry juice may decrease the number of symptomatic UTIs over a 12 month period, particularly for women with recurrent UTIs. This 2012 study was published using, um, the review went over 24 studies with a total of 40, almost 4,500 participants. The data showed that compared with placebo, water or no treatment, cranberry products did not significantly reduce the occurrence of symptomatic UTIs overall, with a risk reduction of 0.86. Interestingly, the effectiveness of cranberry was not significantly, significantly different to antibiotics for women. And some consider considerations when I was reading this were that many of the studies reported low compliance and high withdrawal or dropout attributed to palatability and acceptability of the products, primarily having to drink a bunch of cranberry juice every single day. And then the tablets and capsules did not report how much of that active ingredient was each product contained. So we go back to do cranberries actually help to prevent UTIs? Newer studies from 2017 to 2021 suggest that they do. This study, this was a systematic review with meta-analysis that was published in the Journal of Urology in 2017 that had 28 studies with around 5,000 participants. And the results showed that findings clearly showed the potential use of cranberries for the clinical condition of urinary tract infection. Um, cranberries significantly reduced the incidence of urinary tract infections, and they were found to be, the conclusions of this study show that there would be a beneficial effect on reducing the incidence of UTIs using cranberry. Another meta-analysis was published in the Journal of Nutrition in 2017 that included around 1,500 participants around, across seven trials. And this conclusion showed that cranberry products, juice plus tablets or capsules were shown to reduce the risk of UTI recurrence by 26% among otherwise healthy women compared with the placebo or controlled group. One of the um, considerations for this study is that there was a relative, most of these seven studies were relatively small with only two of them having greater than 300 participants. And the risk of bias indicated that two studies had high loss to follow-up or selective outcome reporting. This was a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled multi-center clinical trial that was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2017. 
that had 373 women, the year ages 20 to 70, that had a history of a UTI, greater than two episodes treated by a healthcare professional in the last year. Um, and then had one of which had been treated within six, greater than or less than six months of treatment for their screening vision um, visit. They assigned each patient to consume one 240 milliliter serving of a cranberry beverage or a placebo for 24 weeks. And the primary outcome was the total number of clinical UTI events per unit time of observation. Um, after they analyzed the data, the conclusion was that the consumption of cranberry juice beverage lowered the number of clinical UTI episodes in women with a recent history of UTI with one course of antibiotic therapy for a clinical UTI prevented for every 3.2 women years on the cranberry intervention. And this study was just published last year. Um, that was another meta systematic review and meta analysis. Uh, this one included 23 trials 23 trials with around 4,000 participants from five electronic databases. And the results showed that cranberry-based products intake can significantly reduce the incidence of UTIs in susceptible populations with a 30% risk reduction in developing UTI in susceptible populations who consume cranberry-containing products versus those that did not. Um, considerations for this paper was that the cranberry containing products differed remarkably in form, manufacturer, daily dosage, uh, content of the active ingredient and dosing frequency. And that the differences in the definitions between each of the papers for UTI varied. So clinical symptoms to define UTI were required in most of the trials, but baseline bacteria were not excluded in 18 of the trials and the thresholds of bacteria ranged throughout 11 of the, throughout the trials. It was also found that cranberry juice form was observed to be more effective than cranberry capsule or tablets in the, their subgroup analysis. And they were questioning in this paper whether the antibacterial activity of cranberry juice was due to the active ingredients or actually due to an intake of a large amount of liquid. But all of those studies did end up showing that there was a benefit to taking cranberry or cranberry supplements to prevent UTIs. So let's go back to that one study in 2012 that um, was where this myth started. So what was different between this review versus the prior three reviews that had showed that there was a benefit? The last one was in 2008, which had 10 studies, the 20, 2012, review added additional 14 studies. And that 2012 review showed that there was no significant benefit in preventing UTIs specifically in women with recurrent UTIs. So for those women with recurrent UTIs, the results showed a small non-significant reduction in risk of 26% of repeat symptomatic UTI with cranberry treatment. And that was based on four studies that had just under 600 participants. There was significant heterogeneity in those results, primarily with the addition of the newest and largest study, the Barbosa Sensnik um, 2011 study. When this study was omitted from their calculations, the reduction in risk increased to 42%. So briefly about that study, the 2011 study that was published in Clinical Infectious Disease, this study had a larger sample size than the other three that were, were put together, it was 319 college women presenting with an acute UTI that were treated with eight ounces of 27% cranberry juice twice daily. And the results showed that they did not experience a decrease in the six month incidence of a second UTI compared to those drinking placebos. Some concerns that I saw when reading through this study was that the thresholds used to define a UTI was actually the lowest of all four of the studies from that paper, but the incidence rate was 16.9%, which was actually half of what it was, would be expected to have been, which would be like 27% based on previous literature. So the authors of that paper said that it's possible that this study population may have been women who were less at risk of recurrent UTIs. And if that was the case, then that would have shifted all of the results. So omitting the study from this 2011 study from that 2012 paper, that was the creation of the myth um, could cause that whole paper to go back and be more in agreement that cranberries would act as a 
deterrent to UTIs. So just a summary of all the studies that we talked about, the three uh, reviews from 1998, 2004, and 2008 all showed that cranberry juice may decrease the number of symptomatic UTIs over a 12 month period, particularly for women with recurrent UTIs. That one study from 2012 did not significantly reduce the occurrence of symptomatic UTIs overall, but if we take out that 2011 study from there, then it would show that it did. The two systematic reviews from 2017 both showed a redu reduction in the risk of UTI recurrence, as well as the clinical trial that was published in 2017, which lowered the number of clinical UTI episodes in women with a recent history of UTI with one course of antibiotic therapy for a clinical UTI prevented for every 3.2 woman years. And then that 2021 study published just last year that showed that there was a significant reduction in the incidence of UTI in susceptible populations with a 30% reduction in the risk of developing a UTI. That's my data for my references. Are there any questions, comments from anyone? I mean, I think this is a, a good example of how things change in medicine and you kind of, you know, the whole purpose of this conference is to follow the data, right? And, you know, what we thought 30 or 40 years ago was then supposedly disproven. Now there's more evidence that shows that maybe, maybe we were right all along in the first place. Um, so we've come pretty much full circle on this, it seems like, at least in my lifetime. Um, I don't know, anybody else have any comments? Lynn? Can I just ask a question? Season. Was there, aside from the E. coli adhesion basic science, um, without getting into the nitty gritty, were there other theories from the basic science literature as to the rationale for, because most of what you presented was epi, epi right? Epidemiology. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering from the basic science side, if there was a good understanding. Not much besides the um, adhesion by the E. coli, but also taking in cranberry juice is increasing your fluid intake and increasing, you know, the amount of times that you're emptying your bladder and getting rid of those bacteria anyway. So if using the pills or supplements that I didn't see specifically, you know, everything broken down into pills versus, or I wasn't looking for that in mine, but I would assume that they... Hmm that would have an effect. Thanks. Any other questions or comments? Is it time for a randomized controlled trial of uh, cranberry juice to prevent caudies in the hospital? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, so if there are no other comments, um, so is it a myth cranberry is not effective in preventing UTIs? How many people think that, um, that this is true, that cranberry is not effective in preventing UTIs, which is what we used to think, I guess. How many think it's plausible? How many think it's, uh, this is busted, that it's definitely helpful? Kind of a mixed bag here. Yeah. Okay. So I think we'll do this one then. Since it's not unanimous, go ahead. You can just hit it. Just hit that? No, hit it. Little explosion. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.